Hi, I'm Miriam of MHM Interiors. I'm here to talk to you today about one of my favorite design topics, smart home technology. I am in the perfect place for that, which is the Savant Experience Center in New York City. I'd like to introduce my frequent collaborator and smart home consultant, Shane O'Sullivan of Electronic Architecture. So when we talk about smart home design, it's part of the initial planning and schematic. The earlier we get involved, the better. With the right time involved, we can relocate all of that wall clutter and leave something like one small keypad just to control the entire home. Well, I think what's really important as well about smart home design is that it's, it's meant to be custom made for the client. You know, we have clients who prefer to control their smart home technology with the lovely control panel on the wall, whereas their spouse might be much more comfortable using the iPad and the kids might yeah. like to do it using their iPhone. Exactly, yeah. Dimmers have to exist, switches have to exist. With this stuff, we get to locate it somewhere out of sight. Very, very simple yeah. and very user friendly. Yeah, simplicity is like the uh, is the key. Making things work together in unison uh, from a press of a button or a voice command. It looks very simple. It's the work that goes in throughout the project to make sure everything is wired correctly. and All the magic that happens behind the walls. Exactly. That, yep. that um, you know, the clients, they know that it's there, but they don't have to look at it. Exactly. And that's yep. the, the clever concealment of the real technology behind it. The main thing is that we have options nowadays for, for either or, you know, voice command, touch screen, physical remote. The security of your information has become more of a question with respect to smart home technology, which is exactly one of the arguments for having integrated home mm -hmm. automation. Systems like Savant, uh, it's based on a button press or a touch screen, um, and it's a hardwire command to a centralized location. But just by nature of that, it's it's not entirely internet based. Yeah. So you do have that added level of, of privacy to know that not everything is a voice command and not every device in your home is listening. And, and in fact, what smart home technology is not is having Alexa, for example, listening in on you and that you know data being used by third parties. The integrated home automation is, is really about having that information just be for you within exactly. your home. 